Now we're ready to give you your inhaler. So I'm just gonna give it a shake, put it in the spacer. Now what I want you to do is to breathe out, put the spacer into your mouth and start to breathe in through the spacer. And as you're starting to breathe in, I'll press down on the inhaler and you just keep taking the whole of your in-breath through that spacer. Then I want you to hold your breath for as long as you can and then breathe out. So if I give that to you. So I want you to breathe out first. Put the spacer into your mouth. Start to take a deep breath in. I'll press down on this. Take a nice deep breath in for me. And then hold your breath for as long as you can and then just breathe out. We'll just let you rest for 30 seconds and then we'll do the second one. So we'll do the same again. So breathe out. Put the spacer into your mouth. Start to take the in breath. Nice deep breath in. Hold your breath for as long as you can and then just breathe out. That's you done. Thank you. Now we're ready to give you your inhaler, so I'll just give it a shake and put it in. Now all I'm going to do is put the mask over your face and I just want you to keep breathing normally through it. I'll put a puff of the inhaler into the spacer and I'll count five breaths and then I'll take it away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you put the mask over your nose and your mouth, breathe in and out normally. One. Two. Three, four, five. We'll take that. Now we'll just leave you 30 seconds and then give you a second puff. So nice deep breath in. One, two, three. Four, five. That's you done. Thank you. Here are a few things to remember if you are administering inhaled medication through a spacer. Only administer one puff at a time and leave 30 seconds in between puffs. Once you have administered the inhaler, ask the person to rinse their mouth out with water or to take a drink. This is to reduce the risk of side effects in the mouth. If you need to clean a spacer, use warm water and leave it to dry on the draining board. Do not use a tea towel. If the person is unable to comply with the inhaler and spacer, do let the GP know.